Hi, this is Vicki here with you again. I'm here to talk to you today about the eight pillars of the Manifest in Era. The eight pillars of the Manifest in Era are the eight forces um, that create reality for you. When you understand these forces, these aspects of reality, you can completely control uh, your reality and make changes in your life for the better. You can um, get rid of blocks that are keeping you from succeeding in love, romance, in business, in any aspect of your life where you feel like you're not getting what you want or you're not getting your needs met or life is just not working for you. This is actually an intellectual approach to spirituality. And it's my understanding that most people believe that they're sort of mutually exclusive. If you're an Earth Mother Goddess type, you're going to think that only intuition and the spiritual aspect of life is going to work f for you. If you're an intellectual, more of an analytical kind of person and not so much into spirituality, you're going to think that only logic and reasoning and uh, making good decisions is going to work for you. And what the Manifest in Era is, is it is a bridge between those two. When you can intellectually, with your left brain, analyze and understand these eight pillars, then what that will do is create a bridge into the spiritual world for you. And so these eight pillars are extremely powerful. What I'm doing here um, on the website concerning the eight pillars is I'm going to be posting videos that teach you how these eight pillars affect each other, what their um, purpose is, how you can readjust them and work with them to open the portals to the spirit world so that you get the gifts coming into you and so that you can learn to understand the symbolic and metaphorical language of spirit so that you can process um, the energy coming from the spirit world and create what you want with it in your physical reality. So this is an intellectual approach to spirituality which is new and different. Um, but it, it creates a complete picture for you so that you have right in your hands all the tools that you need to use. However, there is one caveat. This is not for sissies. This is an extremely powerful, extremely empowering approach to life. It will demand that you work on your character. It will demand that you look inside and see what's in there operating in your subconscious. It will demand of you personal responsibility. So if you're at that stage in your life where you think life is doing things to you, you think your ex is doing things to you, you think that your job or your boss or some relative or some friend is doing things to you, this system won't work for you. You have to be at the point where you realize that you have no answers, that things aren't working for you. When you're ready to take personal responsibility for this incredible power, this incredible spiritual power to create what you want almost instantaneously, you then can absorb this information. You can proactively learn it and use it to create magic, literal magic in your life, to manipulate reality, to change things. You can call it what you want. You can call it casting spells. You can call it prayer. You can call it Christ consciousness. You can call it quantum physics. It's really the same process. What I've got here in the eight pillars of the manifest in era is the ability to move directly into your power. It is extremely intense. You must um, mentally be ready to do it. But if you are, and if you're ready to make the commitment, you will have extreme power right in the palm of your hand. 
So go ahead and explore some of the videos and some of the graphics. And um, I'll be putting up more and more videos um, with the main focus to show how each of the eight pillars interrelate, how they affect each other, and how to use that information to develop your own power. Namaste.